Hi friends, in this video, I will show you how to set up the dockers and how to set up the Kafka and Zookeepers. In my system, docker I have already installed and set up. So no need to set up the dockers here. You can check the dockers by, by pressing the window and R button here. Open the CMD. Here we need to check docker hyphen hyphen version command. So you can see here, my docker version is 27.2.0 is installed. So, so for <coughs> setting up the Zookeeper, first we need to pull the images from the Docker Hub registry. So if you see in my system, there is no images available in my local, local Docker, local Docker Hub. So you need to pull the images from the docker hub registry of the zookeepers. So by pulling the images of the zookeepers, you need to use the mention command docker pull with nomi slash zookeeper. It will take some time for pulling the images from the docker hub registry. So let's open another command, cmd command in here. We need to pull the Kafka images from the docker of registry. So we need to type docker pull bitnomi slash Kafka. So it will pull the Kafka images from the docker hub registry. These commands I will provide you in the description section. You can you can see that command and use it so i am entering it it will pulling the images from the docker hub registry it will take some time so waiting until it will not download it once it it downloaded then we will run the zookeepers and then kafka Let's check Kafka as well. It is. It will take some times. And here, let's check Zookeeper. Zookeeper is downloaded, but uh, there is some steps which needs to follow. So wait, wait until it is not downloaded. Yeah, now it is downloaded. We can check the Docker images by using Docker images command. Now let's run the Docker images. So let's let's run the Docker Zookeepers images. So first we need to create a network. For this network, we will connect the Zookeepers and Kafka. So there is a command for creating the network: Docker network create and network name. Kafka network we are providing here. So Docker network create Kafka network. You can check the networks by network by using Docker network ls. You will see here Docker Docker network <coughs> Kafka network is created. Now let's check the Docker images. It is available in the local system Kafka Kafka Zookeepers Vietnam Vietnamese Zookeepers images. So we need to run these images. So there is a command which need to mention here and run the Zookeeper. So Docker run hyphen hyphen name. We need to pass any name. Here we are passing the Zookeeper. Now here adding the network name. Network name is a Kafka network which I was created previously. Now, pass exposing the port 
minus p 2181 and container port name 2181 now we are passing the environment variable allow and anonymous 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 login s run minus d it will run in the background if we have added the minus d command now mentioning the images name kafka uh, vietnami zookeeper enter it yeah it is created the container so you can check docker ps command it is running you can check the logs by using docker logs and provided the container name yeah you can see it is running now let's see the app kafka kafka is also pulled in my local docker so you can check docker images here you will see bitnami kafka is also available right now so we need to run the juke kafka as well so there is a command docker run minus d hyphen hyphen name here we need to define the name kafka and provide the network name here providing the network name kafka network and here exposing the port so this is ex exposing port and for router this is the container port number now we are going to add environment variable kafka broker id equal to 1 minus e kafka zookeeper zookeeper connect connect here we need to pass the container name as a zookeeper which which was previously we have run it zookeeper column 2181 now passing e kafka add word ties add over ties listeners listeners equal to plain text local host 9092 and adding one more environment variable here there is a spelling mistake advertise let's check the command yeah advertise that is fine don't worry i will provide the <coughs> provide these commands in the description section you can use it minus e here we need to pass allow plain text listener equal to yes and passing the images name bitnami slash kafka now let's check i hope it will work now it is running let's check the container yeah it is running let's check the logs of the kafka yeah it is connected now let's let's check it is running or not so for, for checking purpose we need to we need to use offset explorer as well as type drop and type byte ui as well so i am opening the offset explorer here 
now right clicking on the cluster adding the new connection here passing as a docker cluster name as a docker kafka mentioning here local host 9092 and pinging it it will give success output now clicking the enable zookeeper accesses here adding the local host pinging it yeah it is also added now testing it yeah it is added now connecting this one by clicking right click it is connected you can see here brokers information it is running in the local host so here here giving the local host and by clicking the expanding the topics you can see all the topics name here by by clicking the consumers you can check all the consumers group if it is running now let's run the type drop ui for checking purpose so i am going to cmd command or c drive in the c drive there is a type drop ui folder open open the cmd command here now going to run the cap drop jar so there is a command java jar cap drop hyphen hyphen kafka broker dot connect here we need to pass the kafka port kafka ip and port number now also we need to pass the kafka zookeeper zookeeper dot connect here also need to pass the zookeeper port number as well now de defining the cap drop server port cap drop server port number here as a 9000 and entering it yeah now it is started so i am going to chrome browser opening it now typing the http s <coughs> localhost 9000 and entering it yeah you can see <coughs> here our host information port number all the information available by clicking the new you can create the topic and partition replica set as well so i have shown to how to connect the docker connect the docker zookeeper running docker zookeeper sign kafka in the offset explorer and cap drop ui now it's time to it's time to run cap cap byt ui so going to Cap bat UI folder. Here there there is a file bat configuration file, and here cap bat UI. So opening it. Here there there is a port defined of the Kafka server. This is the port. Now going to run it. So by running this, we need to Java minus. Java minus jar hyphen d spring dot config config dot location file adding here location c hyphen kafka kaf bat ui slash Type bat config dot yaml and jar name 
entering it now we are uh, it is not taken over the file path information so there is a additional location we need to pass the additional location in the command prompt i will provide this command as well in the so i am closing this one now additional location so here we need to pass additional additional location and entering it Yeah, now it is running. Nine zero nine zero. Now opening the another tab and running the tab drop UI, tab bit UI. You can see here it is connected our our Docker Docker Kafka, and here you can see all this. So in this video, I have shown you, <coughs> I had shown you how to run the zookeeper and kafka using docker commands and also how to connect the running running the zookeeper zookeepers and kafka from docker to kafka drop kafka bat ui and offset explorer thank you for my watching video if you like my video you can subscribe my channel then you will get the update in upcoming session thank you bye bye